Hello, Yami Udens. Uh, welcome back. Uh, today, I'll be sharing with you some insights in the life of Marcos Aurelius, particularly his ancestors and tutors. And again, this is Yami Yuda, and I would like to invite you to be our partner and be a Yudan. And uh, if you like this video, like it, give some good comments, subscribe, and click the notification bell for you to get updated of our you know, uh, latest videos. And you know, I hope you will learn and enjoy this presentation. You know, Marcos Aurelius as an emperor started on March 7, 161 CE and ended when he died on March 17, 180 CE. That's 19 years and 10 days, one of the longest uh, reigning emperors uh, of his time. And uh, his predecessor was his, um, was his uh, father uh, who adopted him, Anton Antonius Peos, and succeeded by uh, his son Commodus. And during this time, he has co-emperors, he has Lucius Veros, his uh, adopted brother, and Commodus, uh, his son. And um, I mean, Marcus Aurelius is the, you know, a shortened name, but he has a uh, name. So uh, uh, his, uh, his real name is Marcus Aileus Aurelius Veros Cesar. And um, his renal name is Imperator Cesar Marcos Aurelius Antoninos Augustus. Their names really are quite long. And, you know, most of the emperors during this time attach at the end of their names Augustus. Uh, that's, that, that, you know, shows uh, authority uh, that they really came from the line of the, the greatest uh, Roman emperor of all time, uh, Augustus Caesar. So that is the very reason why they really have to, you know, put a, a, a surname, Augustus, uh, right at the end of their names to be recognized as, as having the authority of that, that great man. And, um, and uh, during, during his time, uh, again, Marcus Aurelius has, uh, you know, reigned with, you know, his co-emperors. Uh, again, his brother, Lucius Veros, and then you have Commodus, his son. So it's, it, it's, it is a triumvirate. It is a, 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 an emperor ruling, uh, the, there, are, there are three emperors in, 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 in this time when uh, Marcus Aurelius uh, took his, uh, his reign as an emperor for 19 years. So, uh, along this time, he has Lucius Verus, but Lucius Verus died uh, ahead, and then later Commodus uh, uh, become a, a, the co-emperor. And um, it's a triumvirate. And don't you know that you know Marcus Aurelius is one of the five god emperors, uh, according to Machiavelli. Uh, it's it's one of the the, the top five good emperors, starting with Nerva, then followed by Antonius, and then, and then you know, uh, Trahan, Hadrian, and uh, Antonius Pius, and we have uh, Marcus Aurelius. So uh, they are known as the five good emperors. They really bring and retain the Pax Romana, the, you know, the Roman peace. Uh, and then they are known as the Anton Nian uh, emperors uh, that they are the Nerva Antonian em emperors and uh, yeah Rome during their, their, their times uh, have really expanded and uh, this this uh, these emperors have brought Rome into its highest in fact um, Hadrian brought it even pushing the boundaries of Rome into the northern part of of, of you know of the United Kingdom. Uh, now the United Kingdom, or they really even push higher up, uh, farther from London during the time. So uh, they are really one of the greatest uh, emperors, no? this five. And uh, Marcus Aurelius was born on April 26, 121 in Rome, Italy. And you know, during his time, this is how wide uh, the empire no? it, it, it 
brings even to Britannia. Uh, and even Hadrian set up a wall to prevent the northern tribe, I mean the, the, the tribes to attack London and Britain. And uh, they even have Spain or Iberia, Gaul, Burgundy, and Egypt, and even the Philistine area. He conquered most of the known world during this, this time. And, uh, you know, the family of Marcos Aurelius, his father was Marcos Aeneas Verus, actually the third, because uh, this name was even carried by his great uh, uh, grandfather. So Marcos Aeneas Verus the third. But, uh, you know, Marcos Aeneas Verus died when, you know, Marcos was still at, at you know, at, at a young age, at three years old and got adopted by Emperor Antoninus Pius. And his mother was Domitia uh, Calvelia. And, you know, he, uh, he got married. And then we have Faustina the Younger as his spouse. And they were blessed with 19 children with uh, Faustina the, the Younger. So it's an exciting life, you know, it's an exciting life. A man of power and a man of, uh, uh, a man of, fame, a man of glory, just tend to be an emperor with this background. And he has the best uh, uh, family background in Rome uh, during his time. And, uh, you know, his great grandfather, the Marcos Aeneas Verus name, is already a known name in, 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 in Rome. Marcos Aeneas Verus first is, the first is a senator and a praetor, you know. They really just tend to lead armies. They are, they are commanders. And uh, the great grandfather and uh, the grandfather of Marcos Aeneas is Verus II is a patrician. Uh, because, of the, because of his great grandfather's name, the fame and honor, the, the great grandfather Marcos Aeneas Verus II became a patrician or during this time uh, some forms of higher aristocrats. And his father, Marcos Aeneas Veros III, is also a praetor. So they are really leaders. Uh, praetors their time are like, you know, comparable to a, a, an army commander. So even up to the office of being a general. So th this man really, you know, his, his, his bloodline, his fathers, his great grandfather, his grandfather are really uh, great men of Rome. And no wonder Marcos Aurelius is also, the, you know, that great. And uh, uh, his wife, Austina the Younger, uh, was born on 130 and up to one, you know, uh, 176. And, uh, but, but, you know, Marcos Aurelius he suffered so much death in, in you know, in his uh, life. Uh, Remember, his father died at uh, a very young age, and you know his wife died also. Out of his fourteen child, many have died, you know, and even even died ahead uh, ahead of him. So it's it's quite uh, it's quite painful, but uh, still uh, this man, you know, shaped and educated uh, with with the best education in Rome and the, and the philosophy of his time. And you know, uh, this helps him mold to be a, a man of, 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 of talent and a man that, that could carry on whatever stresses in life. You know, the house of the, the Nerva Antonine dynasty that started in 96 and ended up in 192, and Commodus, you know, was the last of, 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 of this house starting with Nerva, Trahan, Antoninus, Pius, Lucius Verus, Marcus Aurelius, and Commodus. Uh, with this line of, uh, of, of, of emperors, in fact, we have, we have uh, they, they really, uh, you know, um, they really have done their best to make Rome as one of the greatest uh, in history. They, they built up the you know the, the, the Roman Empire uh, strengthened the Roman Empire Empire after they got it from uh, Augustus and uh, some of the emperors after after then so the Nerva Antonine dynasty strengthened 
the the Roman Empire, and then of course that's the reason why they still carry the name Augustus. And um, you know, at a very young age, uh, among aristocrats in in Rome, um, they were taught with so many teachers. And there are these are the known teachers of Marcus Aurelius. You have Herodes Atticus. You know Herodes Atticus is is good in in Latin, and we have Marcus Cornelius Fron, Fronto. Fronto is good in 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 Latin. Well, Herodes Atticus is good in Greek, and then we have Diognetus, and then we have Alexander of Cotiaium, Trotius, uh, Aper. We have Dotitius Proculus. They are Homeric scholars and you know teachers of Latin of 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 Marcus uh, Aurelius. Um, uh, Herodes Atticus, a rhetorician, at the same time a senator. Marcus Cornelius Fronto is also an officer in, in the Empire of Rome, rhetorician, orator, and grammarian. And uh, Diognetus, a master painter, and also introduces at a young age uh, to Marcus a, a philosophy. And, uh, you know, uh, in the three, Followed with Alexander, uh, Trotius, and Dotitius are, are you know teachers of of of, of, of Marcus, uh, telling telling Marcus the stories of 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 the Greeks and even you know uh, teaching him also uh, Latin and. Uh, Another teacher was Apollonius uh, Chalcedon, Quintus Honeus Rusticus, and Sixtus of Chironia. These are, you know, teachers that was teaching really Marcus about the particular philosophy. And, uh, you know, Apollonius introduced Marcus to philosophy, but Quintus Rusticus has the strongest influence for Marcus on becoming, uh, you know, a Stoic. And, um, you know, uh, Kentos uh, Rusticus is uh, probably the you know the head uh, Stoic philosopher uh, in Rome during the time. And, you know, tutoring Marcos is really um, gives Marcos the, you know the, the best knowledge about Stoicism. And you know when when he was in a, when he was at that old age, Marcos still you know learning and and having some teachers and what one of it is you know Sixtus and you know Sixtus described uh, and, and it was described that you know Marcos was really excited to learn so many things even uh, at his old age even, even at the time before he, before he died you know uh, even during his campaign you know attacking uh, uh, Germania and Parthia you know the, Marcos is bringing with him tutors and teachers and uh, and uh, you know one just one last thing that I would like to emphasize you know these philosophy teachers who are who are pagans are and uh, are even one of the instrument of the death of Justin Martyr uh, uh, Rosticos was the one who presided the trial of Justin Martyr because you know during the, the time Justin Martyr is, is becoming the philosopher of among Christians, uh, defender of, of, of Christian faith at the of the second century, and uh, Justin Mart Martyr uh, defended Christianity, uh, philosophizing, and uh, but he met the, this guy Rosticos, one of the greats of, uh, of stoicism during the time and uh, it's so sad you know uh, it is in the hands of the teacher of Marcos Aurelius that Justin Martyr was executed and died uh, because of his faith. Thank you for listening uh, on the next video I would like to share with you my you know my selected top 10 quotes of Marcos Aurelius I, I really tried to choose the uh, these top 10 quotes, shorter quotes, and you know, I hope you will uh, enjoy next time and watch us next time. And please don't forget to like, comment, 
and uh, subscribe and click the notification bell for you to be updated with the latest Yami Yuda videos. And have a good day. Bye-bye and enjoy the rest of your day.